everyone. Um, it's been quite a while since we did an update video. We've been very busy, as you can see. We have a lot of um, improvements already on the house. First, I want to introduce to you all my helpers. We have some chickens, some dogs. The chickens are now um, jumping over the fence and just free ranging it, so it's whatever. So, as you can see, we have all new doors and windows on the house. We have the siding on, which was a like a wood siding, so I, we stained it and worked together and stained it. And it looks really nice. So, Carl's coming along for the journey. Aren't you, Carl? Can you say hi? So, we have a lot of improvements. This is where Josh is going to put in the um, concrete pad for the air conditioner. And we'll just do a quick walk around the house. Found these cute chairs that matched our front door perfectly today when we were at Menards, so we picked those up. We have a new sliding glass door, new door or a new window over the, that's where the kitchen sink will be, and the final side of the house <clears throat> is also completed with the siding. We have some trim to put on and gutters and flashing and things like that, but we're well on our way with this. Hi babies! Something else that we have done since our last video. The babies are getting so big, look at them. They're so curious. Hi babies! Everybody's curious, isn't they? Yeah. Oh, did you just sneeze? So something else we did was Josh has built a bigger coop. I think I showed it to you guys unfinished in the last video. But now it's finished and in its place. And what we're doing is we are transitioning the big kids with the little kids. That's what we call them. <laughs> um, we are trying to do it safely. So, But our problem is, is we found that um, one of our hens is bullying the other two hens and she's pulling out their feathers. So Truvy is the bully and she is in the hen den by herself still. We are isolating her because we heard that that helps with the pecking order to reestablish it. And we have the other three big kids in here with the little kids, and it seems to be working out fine. Um, there's the nesting boxes, and they have all these little perches. And amazingly, they go up uh, above the doorway there too, and it's really cute at night because they like look through those little holes. So I'll have to show you that. Now what we're going to do is take you guys along on our walk with us. And I am going to go into the barn. Daisy, you are not supposed to have that. I'm going to go into the barn, put my socks on, and get um, my boots on for our walk. All right, here we go. We are ready for our walk. So we got the dogs with us. And Josh has his bucket to carry out any trash that we might find. Seems like with every rain and heavy wind, we find a lot of stranded trash in there. So this is the trail that was probably previous, well, according to our neighbor behind us, was a previous trail that they would use for ATVs and things like that and um, pulling out any um, logs and things like that to use so Josh has since kind of revived it it was pretty overgrown and um, he's since revived it and um, with the tractor and bush hog and cut through the pass again so that we can use them for our evening walks as you can see scooter is usually taking the lead on our walks 
and sometimes he'll run kind of farther ahead, but he will always stop at a certain point and kind of turn around and watch for us, wait for us, and um, he's pretty obedient. They're all getting there for a short while. We had to put Daisy on a leash, but even now she's kind of taming down a little bit and um, listening a little better. Uh, a couple weeks ago we had a pretty strong storm come through and this tree, which was dead anyway, has fallen in our path, so we still haven't gotten it cleared, but come on Daisy, we'll do it when we have time. <laughs> so this is a path that he most recently revived. Um, <clears throat> It kind of leads back into a clearing, which I'll show you here in a minute. And it's really kind of a neat place. Uh, we have some pretty fun ideas for that area. So this is the path we're walking right here, but this is another kind of future path that we're gonna work on clearing too for future use. So that'll be kind of uncharted territory. We haven't really gone that way before. Alright, so here we are coming up on our opening that Josh cleared a couple weeks ago. And kind of our ideas, our ideas for this opening is to kind of have a primitive um, site eventually. Uh, maybe even for group camping. Um, it has a really nice just opening where you can look up at the sky too because it has a clearing of trees here so we just thought it would be kind of a fun place um, for a, a, camp, a primitive campsite someone looking for that type of experience dogs are trying to do their own thing. Something that we have a lot on this property is just random bones. I don't know if it was from them hunting out here or if it died natural. I don't know, but it was probably some sort of a deer or whatever. Yeah, you see that a lot around here on this property. Now we're coming up to another kind of opening that we kind of have the same idea for um, at being able to do some kind of a primitive site on. The dogs know just where to go. It's kind of funny. Almost right away they knew after like the second walk. Scooter's always the leader. Usually Daisy's behind me. And a lot of times Oscar will be right by my feet as well. But they know that this opening's coming and they like to run around the circle of it. It's kind of cute. So this is much more heavily wooded than the other one that we were just in but would also make a good kind of a primitive site. Ugh, I think I just walked through spider web. Primitive site for someone looking for that type of an experience. Some of the things that we were kind of thinking of, well they could bring in their own tent or we were looking into like Possibly having a yurt or something, or even just primitive, little primitive cabins, too. All different ideas that we've had. For some reason, this hill they like to run down. Even Daisy gains her speed on this hill. 
She's usually the slow one that stays back with me. I'm a pretty slow walker. Although the paths are cleared, you still have to be careful of the random fruit and stuff sticking out of the ground, so I just be cautious. So Daisy came up out of the woods and decided, nope, I'm not doing it tonight. I'm not walking around the meadow. So the guys are walking that way, and the girls are walking this way, which is the short way back to the house. Um, there's been a couple times that we've let Daisy go back on her own, but then she very evidently would get sidetracked in our pond, and she would be completely covered in mud, so we stopped letting her go back on her own. So I'm going with her, and Josh is taking the other dogs around the meadow. Come on, old girl. Come to guys. So that down there is our pond. It's like, looks like really tall grasses or whatever. It's very, very low right now because we have not had a lot of rain and it's just really low. So hoping to find a way to funnel some more water down into it. Welcome back. So, and then we usually go the front pasture too, which is this area all overgrown, but we skipped that tonight. It's pretty warm out, it's very humid. It's been kind of cool the last couple days considering how it should be for this time of year. It should be about like this, but we've been spoiled with really mild temperatures and after having a couple weeks of like 100 degrees plus with like high humidity we got pretty um spoiled with the temperatures and so now it's like we're trying to get used to it again so we will skip that part but maybe we go check on our grapevines see how they're doing go up here at the front of our property see the house back there the front of our property is this um, line of grapes and berries and so we haven't checked on them in a couple days but you can see a couple of ones on there but for the most part, they look like they're doing nicely. Dogs are enjoying relaxing now. And Oscar's right by me. Right, Oski. You can see the chickens up by the house. Making their way down to. Yeah, if anyone knows what this tree is, we call it our truffle tree. <laughs> Looks like a Dr. Seuss tree does, so. Any good berries? Yeah? So hopefully you enjoyed our little evening walk with the dogs. Until next time. All right, so our nightly ritual, mm -hmm. for some reason, these three had not been putting themselves to bed up in their coop anymore. And we realized that one of our hens was picking on the other ones. And so, um, pulling out their feathers and stuff, so now they refuse to go in the coop. So we are putting them in the larger coop with the babies, but they won't go in on their own. Every night we have to do it for them, so enjoy. Josh has to get the roosters. And after he gets the roosters, I'll get one of the girls, put that one under the other arm, and then I'll get the other one.
Say hi. No, camera shy. <laughs> Say hi. All right, so now I'll take you over. And you'll see, we'll just put them in the little. Yeah, we're gonna close that again. I got it. You ready? You can see up there the babies are in the little windows. <laughs> can you get her for me? All right, and there we go. That'll do it.